You can get the loved old Discord mobile UI back right now. Midjourney is journeying away from Discord. Discord is doing a holiday giveaway. And Discord is working on some features that will make our poor, pathetic lives on Discord a whole lot better. So let's start off with the reason why all you gremlins clicked on this video. To change Discord's UI from this horrendous buggy mess back to the good old safe UI. Because Discord users hate change. What you need to do is you need to go to the first link in the description. And it will be this GitHub GIST page from AAMIA. Or AMIA. Yeah just with two ways. Make sure it's from this user, because someone could convince you with this video to download and use some random code, which is bad. Now to use the script, it is extremely simple. What you want to do is you want to open up Discord in a new tab. We need to have it in our browser so we can use our little console commands. Then we want to go back to the GitHub page and we want to copy all this code. Now, it's always good to know what your code is doing, so feel free to read through this. Basically, it is changing a setting on Discord and doing it as natively as possible so Discord doesn't pick up on it. Will you get in trouble for using this? No, I don't think Discord's gonna ban you for changing a setting. And if for some weird reason Discord does decide to ban for this, then people are gonna be rioting even more than before. So copy this code, go into Discord, and press Control, Shift, and I, and it should open up this little thing here. We wanna click on Console, and then what you wanna do is you want to paste in this script. Now you're gonna see, oh, my little phone popped up on the left side of the screen. That's because I wanna show you how quick this change happens. So I'm gonna press Enter on this code, and boom, it's like magic. This is the fastest, and the most simple method to get back to the old UI. And this is the beautiful old UI where you can see the member list normally in a very convenient way. Now, I do want to point out that this script here might be patched later in the future because Discord hates us and they want to move everyone to the new app. I would say use this while Discord polishes out the new bugs on mobile so that, you know, you aren't forced to be a beta tester for the app. And for the Discord employees that are forced to watch my videos through some sort of weird torture system that Discord has, please just leave this in the app for like a couple months. But anyways, if you're on your phone and you want to go back to the new UI for some absurd weird reason, just go to your settings, scroll down and click on appearance, scroll down some more, and you should see the show new layout button. Enable that bad boy. And now you're back to the old UI. Oh god, what an absolute disaster. Now let's change gears and look at some actual good Discord features that are going to make my life a lot easier. In this first one, you have 100% experience before. You know when you join a voice call with your friends and you tell them, ah, oh, you need to share your screen so we can watch that potentially unethical way of sharing a movie, and they click on share screen and they share their screen, chances are you won't be able to hear the movie that you're trying to watch. Because if you share your screen, sound may not be available. But guess what? There's a little bit of an experiment floating around where if you join a voice call and you try sharing your screen, can this disappear? Thank you. Share your screen. And you click on screens. I click on screen two. You will see. Also, share system audio. It feels like it took 900 years, but finally, I do not have to tell my brain-dead illiterate friends who cannot use technology that they need to share the Chrome application and not their screen when we're trying to watch some crappy movies together. Um, excuse me, I'm not done with the good features yet, because Discord is adding an iOS live activity widget. Now, with iOS, if you use an iPhone, on your lock screen, you might see a, a live activity. So it could either be the sports game, in this case, it's someone delivering something, and this can either occur on your lock screen, or if you're someone that has the latest and greatest iPhone because you love wasting your parents' money, then it can appear at this top little island dynamic island. God, this naming thing sucks. But this is what it shows you. It shows you your current Discord call. It shows the users inside of it. It shows if you're muted or not, and it shows you what server you're in. Another quality of life feature. And uh, I really hope you can mute yourself on this thing because the amount of times that I have to go to the bathroom and mute myself and go through my phone almost crapping myself so my friends don't get to hear me fart on the toilet, it just happens way too often. I need a faster way to mute. All right, that joke wasn't funny. And finally, I have a little bit of theory crafting for you because Hat Kid was browsing the Google Play Store, and they realized that in the images, there's maybe a feature that might come out on Discord sometime this next year, maybe 2030. There is a featured playlist, and if I go to the next image, screen share, listen to music, and more. Is Discord possibly adding a music feature? I'm not sure, but I guess we'll just have to stay posted and see what Discord's working on. Is this a little bit of a slip up, or is this one of those leaks that slid right past my nose? Now next up, Midjourney is journeying away from Discord. Now chances are you probably probably signed up for Discord because he heard of AI, and he wanted to use AI to replicate that girl that you kissed in your dreams for the first time it was your first kiss. Well, instead of having to make a Discord account, it seems like Midjourney is working on an alpha website. Now, it's only available if you made 10,000 images. All right, that's not me, but thankfully this guy here has a video of it working. And again, it is just an AI website where you can generate images. So uh, no more signing up for Discord. Now, chances are Discord's gonna be a, a little bit upset because now a whole
whole bunch of people aren't joining Discord solely to make AI, and it also makes this free mid-journey image gift for one month seem a little bit, uh, a little bit upsetting for Discord. We spent all this time giving people a free gift and you don't care about us? And finally, the last thing I tell you before I leave for the weekend and never come back is that Discord is doing a bit of a giveaway, both on Twitter and on Instagram. These will be linked in the description, but basically what you need to do is you need to, uh, tag a friend in the replies, and Discord will give you and your friend an item from the shop. Now, there's a little bit more details in what you get in this whole entire giveaway, but there will be five winners, I think five for each platform. You get one free avatar decoration. Oh, you, you're, you get one, your friend also gets one, but only one. And you can only enter this giveaway if you are in the United States of America or if you're in Canada, but not Quebec, because Canadians don't know about Quebec. We just pretend it doesn't exist. And finally, I'm going to be honest with you. They're doing 10 giveaways or something. You're not going to win. But what I'm doing is I'm giving a gift to the social media person that works at Discord. I'm boosting their numbers by showing this in a video. Regardless, I want to end off this video by saying I'm not going to upload for a week. I'm taking a break for once. Have a fantastic Christmas, holiday season, whatever, and have a good one. Mwah!